coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. The doors to two new schools in Swift Current's north end have opened and are welcoming students for the 2014-15 school year. From the closure of old facilities to the transfer of students to new schools, busing becomes a crucial factor for families in all neighborhoods. Family and friends of the Swift Current Colts and Weyburn Eagles filled the stands for the home opener of nine-man football at the Swift Current Comp Field. Thanks for joining us here today. Following several months of construction, two brand new schools are open in Swift Current, welcoming students from both the Holy Trinity and Chinook School Divisions. Following several years of collaboration between the Chinook and Holy Trinity School Divisions, the doors to two new schools in Swift Current's north end have opened and are welcoming students for the 2014-15 school year. Both All Saints Catholic and Ecole Centennial offer pre-K through grade 8 classes on two levels, with each school having its own unique design. Ecole Centennial's blue, gray, and white colorscape welcomes students with an array of new classroom settings, with large windows, a trendy study area, to a gymnasium, complete with fitness equipment on the upper level. A walk through All Saints Catholic School includes bright colors reflecting the students' requests for themes of fire, earth, water, and wind. A wall mural with individual squares painted by Catholic school students in the city to a learning street with comfy ottomans and other decor. They wanted to be able to work outside of the classroom and on furniture that was soft furniture that was comfortable, not always a desk. So we brought that concept to fruition by creating learning streets, hallways that were slightly wider than the average hallway, with garage doors so that once the, they're done their lessons, the garage door comes up and the learning takes place beyond just the learning studio. So they work out there and they learn out there, they interact and they're social out there, and it's just a lively place of learning. And beyond the individuality of each school are the many areas which both school divisions share from bus routes to the extensive heating system, resulting in cost savings for everyone. Certainly the project rooms are, are two areas that uh, staffs will have to adjust to, to figure out how they will be using those. Uh, our band room and the uh, student support room are also shared areas and certainly the library. And uh, I think we've got a great um, beginning with how we are working together with the with the library staff and the two schools so I think there's a real sense of cooperation uh, in the schools uh, between the staff and the, and the students. Both All Saints Catholic and Ecole Centennial schools have the capacity for approximately 450 students each. On a historical note the Swift Current Comprehensive High School was the last new school constructed in the city back in 1969. Students and families are feeling a few growing pains with new bus routes across the city of Swift Current. We have more in this report. The 2014-15 school season marks numerous changes for students in Swift Current. From the closure of old facilities to the transfer of students to new schools, busing becomes a crucial factor for families in all neighborhoods. However, this past week, there were a few bumps in the road. One of the concerns came from, uh, from some of our schools where students were waiting after dismissal before the bus was getting there to pick them up. And so one of the solutions around that is those schools have very short noon hours to begin with. So we're gonna explore maybe lengthening the noon hour by seven or eight minutes, and that'll make up that gap. Chufu adds that in the coming days, these issues around busing should be ironed out, putting the minds of students and parents at ease. As people know, there were multiple buses coming down the same streets to pick up students for the comp, for the Catholic school division, for Chinook school division. So now we've merged them all. But as a result of that, we've had to reroute and replan the bus system for the entire city, which is over 1,500 students that ride buses. And so a uh, fairly complicated and complex task. We've had people on site at all the schools throughout this week monitoring times and seeing how we can refine and improve the process, and we'll be doing that over the course of next week. And along with resolving scheduling issues, 
The Chinook School Division has also stated that there is a lack of bus drivers at this time. Anyone interested in filling these positions is suggested to contact the division directly. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Presented by Standard Motors, in partnership with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Another season of high school football is back in swing, and the Swift Current Colts are eyeing the playoffs. Family and friends of the Swift Current Colts and Weyburn Eagles filled the stands for the home opener of nine-man football at the Swift Current Comp Field. Both teams gave their best efforts through the first half as the Colts came through with a 14-0 lead. The Eagles came back in the second half with two touchdowns to bring the score to 14-13, but as the game progressed, the Colts shone and held on to secure their first win of the season, 21-13. A victory the team worked hard to secure. I felt the team did really good. It was a good team game. Our defense really stepped it up and shut them down. And offensively, we had a few struggles on some drives, but it, we worked ourselves out, and it was good. A team effort, which quarterback and veteran Colt Dalton Christensen hopes to see carried through the rest of the season. We had two solid weeks of camp beforehand, so it was nice to go out and play against some different bodies. I feel like this year we're even or a little bit better than a lot of teams, and uh, we should have a good year. And with a blend of new and former players making up the 2014 Colts lineup, the coaching staff and the players are hoping for a berth in the postseason. We only lost five guys last year. We lost a couple of very good players, but we didn't lose a ton of them. So most of the guys are back. Uh, we've added some guys, some athletes who uh, played a big role today. And they're guys who have played competitive hockey and, uh, and other sports. So it's there. They bring a little bit of, I don't know if swagger is the right right word but just you know that competitive hey we're gonna come out here and win and it's it's made a difference we've been flying around to practice and the guys are having fun and it's a different vibe this year it's been fun the Colts will play six regular season games before playoffs in mid-October the next game for the Colts is on September 13th as they play out of town taking on Moose Jaw Central Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.